Many people believe that having a good guard dog is a great way to keep your family and property safe. Guard dogs usually have qualities like confidence, strong muscles, high speed, keen senses, intelligence, and a natural instinct to protect. These loyal and devoted four-legged friends can be a valuable asset. However, if not properly cared for or trained, their strengths can turn into weaknesses. There is an ongoing debate about whether a dog's aggression is determined by genes or environment. Dogs that experience neglect, abuse, or life-threatening situations are more likely to become aggressive. But does that make them inherently bad dogs? Some dog breeds are specifically bred for hunting and killing, and while this may influence their aggression, there are still exceptions within those breeds. In this video, we'll explore the 14 most aggressive guard dog breeds. Stay tuned for the top pick, where I'll reveal the dog that reigns supreme in the anger management department within the Canada family. To assess their temperament, the dogs in this video underwent a test measuring shyness, aggressiveness, friendliness, and self-preservation in the face of a threat. The results are presented as a percentage passing rate, with the dog having the lowest percentage considered the most aggressive. Number 14. Cannon Dog The Cannon Dog, originally from the Middle East, particularly Israel, has a rich history as a guardian of camps and livestock herds. Sadly, these dogs, once abundant in the wild, are now rare due to the Israeli government's efforts to combat rabies. Currently, their global population stands at a mere two to 3,000. Cannon dogs are known for their confidence and unwavering dedication to their duties, making them fearless protectors. Despite their scarcity, these desert dogs are excellent companions for activities like hikes, runs, and long walks as they don't tire easily. Their strong defensive and self-reliant nature allows them to be left alone for extended periods compared to other breeds. Cannon dogs are alert and quick to react displaying a natural distrust of strangers. In temperament tests, they boast a 62.5% passing rate, earning them a reputation as the kings of aggressiveness in the canine kingdom. Number 13, Dachshund. The Dachshund, also known as the sausage dog, is famous for its long body and short legs. It's a kind of hound dog that was created in Germany back in the 17th century. Originally, dachshunds were bred to sniff out badgers and then chase them out of their hiding places. They're still really good at hunting, especially when it comes to animals that live in burrows like mice and rabbits. Dachshunds come in different sizes, ranging from 8 to 32 pounds. You might be surprised to learn that these small dogs can sometimes be quite aggressive. This is because they suffer from something called small dog syndrome. Basically, they try to act tough to make up for their size. It's kind of like how some people behave, don't you think? Because they're natural burrowers, dachshunds have a tendency to make a mess. They'll dig into blankets and other things around the house, especially when they're tired or bored. House training them can be a challenge, so you'll need a lot of patience. Even though they're small, dachshunds aren't afraid to stand up to bigger dogs. They're pretty courageous. When tested, their temperament scored 68.8%, which is why they're considered one of the top breeds. Number 12. Chihuahua Chihuahuas hold the title of the tiniest dogs globally, fitting into the toy dog category due to their small size. Weighing only 4 to 6 pounds, they're light and often become close companions to one or two individuals. These little dogs are famous for their loyalty, but their dedication can turn into possessiveness, leading them to nip or bite if someone gets too close to their beloved owner. Unfortunately, their temperament makes them less suitable for households with children. Despite their small stature, chihuahuas don't see themselves as small and may bravely confront larger dogs. However, their size makes them susceptible to harm from bigger animals. These delicate dogs are not fans of cold weather and can easily get frightened. Interestingly, a temperament test for chihuahuas resulted in a score of 69.6%, reflecting their unique and sometimes challenging personalities. Number 11. Chow Chow The Chow Chow dog breed comes from China and is famous for its thick double coat, which can be either smooth or rough. These dogs are sturdy and cute making them perfect for cuddling. However, don't be fooled by their adorable appearance, as they can be quite temperamental. Some people even say they have a personality similar to a cat. Chow Chow dogs are known for being protective of their families and territorial. They can be aggressive towards strangers, other animals, and even during adolescence. Adolescent Chow Chows may challenge their owner's authority and display a dominant personality making them a bit challenging to train. These dogs are best suited for experienced owners who can socialize them early and provide the necessary training. Due to their strong hunting instincts, it's essential to keep chow chows on a leash in a fenced area, away from cats and small dogs. 
Meet Rosie. On temperament tests, the Chow Chow breed has a passing rate of 71.7%. Number 10. Finnish Spitz. The Finnish Spitz is a dog breed that comes from Finland, and it got its name from there. Originally, people bred them to help with hunting different kinds of animals like squirrels, rodents, and even bears. They're good at barking to show hunters where the animals are, and they also distract the animals, making it easier for the hunters to get close and take a shot. These dogs are clever. Finnish Spitzes are known for being active, alert, and lively, making them excellent watchdogs. They need exercise, like one or two long walks every day, but they can be a bit lazy when inside. However, you shouldn't keep them locked up all the time. They need a mix of outdoor fun and indoor playtime with the family. Since they were originally bred for hunting, it's not a good idea to have them around small kids and other pets like birds, as they can become aggressive. A temperament test showed that 72.7% of them passed. Number 9. Akita Akitas have really strong guard instincts. These brave and loyal dogs come from Japan and were first bred to protect important people like kings and queens. Having a poorly trained Akita can lead to big problems. If they aren't trained well, they can become so aggressive that trying to pet their cute fluffy bodies becomes a bad idea. Akitas can quickly switch from being playful to aggressive in just a moment. Because of this, the American Kennel Club suggests not leaving children alone with Akitas because playing could turn dangerous. Akitas aren't usually scared or shy. They also don't get along with other animals, so letting them run free in a dog park would be a disaster. Making eye contact usually means you're paying attention, but Akitas see it differently. They might think you're challenging them and they're not afraid to fight. Tests on their behavior showed that 77.8% of Akitas passed. Number 8. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinschers are a kind of medium-sized dog that comes from Germany and was created in 1890. They have shiny coats and can be as heavy as 90 pounds. These dogs got their name from a man named Carl Louis Doberman, who was a tax collector. Since his job could be risky, he wanted a dog that could protect him and his money, especially in dangerous places. It turns out, Doberman Pinscher is really good at that. They have a natural instinct to protect, are very loyal and super alert. Because they're smart, they're even used as police dogs. But be careful, if a Doberman gets upset, it might bite a lot. They need someone strong to be their leader and make them feel safe. If you have a small child at home, it might be better to pick a different kind of dog because Doberman scored 79.1% in a test that checked how well they behaved. Number 7. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiffs are big and strong dogs with a lot of muscles. This makes them really powerful so they can easily take down other animals or even people. People originally bred them to protect animals from poachers, so they're like bodyguards for animals. These dogs can be very aggressive, especially when they're two months old. It's better to keep them in a yard with a fence so they don't cause any trouble. Despite their aggression, they make good walking buddies. If you're out with a bull mastiff, people won't bother you because they are so tough and confident. They even pass temperament tests with an 80.1% success rate, showing they can handle different situations. Number 6. Dalmatian The Dalmatian dog breed comes from the Dalmatia region in Croatia, and they're known for their white coat covered in either black or liver-colored spots. These medium-sized dogs are strong, enduring, and muscular. In the past, Dalmatians were used in wars, protecting the borders of Dalmatia. They were also trained to run alongside carriages, guarding against bandits and other threats. Additionally, they served as escorts for fire engines, clearing crowded streets and protecting valuable horses in stables. However, as horse-drawn transport declined, the demand for Dalmatians diminished. After the release of the 1996 film 101 Dalmatians, there was a surge in non-selective breeding, resulting in unstable bloodlines and behavioral issues like hyperactivity and aggression. Despite being friendly and loyal to familiar faces, Dalmatians can be reserved with strangers. They are energetic and temperamental dogs, requiring regular exercise to prevent destructive behavior and anxiety. On temperament tests, the Dalmatian breed showed an 81.3% passing rate, highlighting their guarding instinct. Number 5. Rottweiler Rottweilers are known to be quite pricey dogs. Originally, they were trained to guard cows in fields and were even used in bear hunting. These dogs are big, 
have short hair and can be pretty aggressive, making them appear intimidating. They don't really warm up to strangers, no matter the person's age. So, if you plan to have a Rottweiler outside your home, make sure to socialize it well with people and other dogs. Rottweilers can't distinguish between a harmless joke and a threat, so it's crucial to help them adapt. Interestingly, if a Rottweiler attacks you, the safest thing to do is stay still. Fighting back could lead to serious consequences. It's noteworthy that Rottweilers scored an 84.5% pass rate in temperament tests. Number 4. German Shepherd To become a police dog, a dog needs to be really smart. German Shepherds have a long history, going back to World War I, where they were popular with both the French and German military. These brave and bold dogs have an excellent sense of smell, which helps them find and catch criminals easily. German Shepherds can get aggressive when criminals resist, and if not stopped, they might end up hurting them. Despite looking friendly, they won't stay calm when threatened and can be quite scary. They are generally protective, but know when to be aggressive. The good thing is, they are easy to train and socialize with, quickly learning commands. They make excellent guard dogs, with an 85.2% passing rate in temperament tests. Number 3. Siberian Husky The Siberian Husky is a fluffy, medium-sized dog that looks a lot like a wolf. They actually have some wolf relatives and come from Northeast Asia. People called the Chukchi originally owned them, and they used huskies for pulling sleds, guarding, and as friends. Huskies are tough and active with a special double coat because they lived in the freezing Siberian Arctic. Unlike regular dogs, huskies don't bark much. Instead, they howl like wolves. They can be tricky pets because they like to dig, chew, and jump over fences. It's important to have a tall fence, around six feet, to keep them safe. If not cared for properly, they might make a mess and become unfriendly. Their eyes may look scary, and if they sense fear, they might act defensively. While generally good-natured, Siberian Huskies have been involved in some serious incidents, so careful handling is essential. On a temperament test, they scored an 86.8% passing rate. Number 2. American Pit Bull Terrier The American Pit Bull Terrier is often considered one of the most aggressive dog breeds globally due to its medium size and sturdy build. Originally bred for fighting, particularly in brutal sports, their aggressive nature is evident. These activities included engaging in battles against larger animals like bulls and bears in pits, which explains their name. While they may not instigate fights, they won't back down from one, displaying a tenacious fighting spirit. Unfortunately, their aggression extends to strangers and even their owners, if not properly trained. If you're not ready to provide ample attention, owning an American Stafford Terrier might not be suitable. Their extreme aggression has led to bans from dog competitions, as they pose a threat to both other dogs and people. These dogs are not recommended for dog parks due to their unpredictable behavior. The stories of attacks by this breed highlight their strength, massive size, and formidable attitude. With a temperament test passing rate of 87.4%, owning one requires careful consideration. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Number 1. Bourbol The Bourbol is a tough dog from Africa, specifically South Africa. They're strong and take their job seriously, protecting their family fiercely. Originally, they were bred to keep their homes safe from wild animals like hyenas, lions and leopards. If they can handle those creatures, you can imagine how they deal with strangers or other dogs. Bourbals are territorial, so it's important to introduce guests to them. They're intimidated just by their appearance. Their strength, size, intelligence and protective instincts make them excellent guard dogs. They can be aggressive, especially towards dogs of the same sex or if provoked. But with enough exercise and space, they can be great companions. They need a big yard with a strong fence. Boar balls have a 94.7% passing rate on temperament tests, which is impressive. So, which of these guard dog breeds scared you the most? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more.